What is up, folks? Really is Jedi here, and uh, this is something very special for you PBRNG users. This is how to do dream radar abuse using PBRNG. Uh, I don't know if Slash Molder has updated RNG Reporter. By the way, shout out to Slash Molder for uh, keeping up with RNG Reporter. Uh, don't know if you've done it, but hopefully you have. But like I mentioned, this is a video for Dream Radar abusers on PBRNG. That sounded kind of wrong saying Dream Radar abusers. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, obviously, you are going to need some things for this thing. A uh, retail cart of black 2 or white 2, obviously. Uh, any model of DS works for uh, our in for uh, Dream Radar abuse, but I should note um, you do need a 3DS because that's the only way you can get Dream Radar. Uh, also, very important, you should have the latest version of R uh, PBRNG, which is 1.14.2, uh, as you can see me pointing out right there. Uh, I don't know what I was doing right there. So yeah, you need to have played. Uh, Dream Radar abuse. Uh, and what I'm showing you right here is you should already understand how to use uh, uh, Unova Link to do calibration because uh, this is the only way you can find out if you hit your seed. If you haven't, look at I've, uh, post uh, 4, I believe it is, in Chizu's uh, PPRNG thread on Smogon. Definitely check it out. Uh, he also has a guide right there for how to do Dream Radar, radar abuse. That's how I learned. So, uh, well, pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty much summarizing what he said and it, so yeah, uh, any model three, any model of DS or 3DS, uh, retail Pokemon black two or white two, uh, you need to have Pokemon dream radar installed on your 3DS because that's the only way you can catch a Pokemon and you already need to have a save file started and you should have a good understanding of how to use Unova link to calibrate. Okay. So let's get to it. Uh, you should already have your parameters. Uh, so you'd go over to a uh, Dream Radar Searcher. And I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, in Grotto. Maybe later on that thing. So yeah, go to Dream Radar. And in, you know, some of this stuff should already be familiar. Hell buttons, dates, you know, expanded and all that stuff if you want. Um, what I'm going to do in this video is an adamant prankster Riolu. Uh, I usually go with all hell buttons. That's how you find. Uh, frame, you want to keep it at 4 to 35. Uh, I'll go into that a little bit later why you want to start with four uh so here we go the big bread and butter uh dream radar uh info uh there's non-legendary uh genies and fourth gen legendaries all pretty much self-explanatory genies are you know ethereum forms fourth gen legendaries are you know the, the version mascots for fourth gen dialga palkia and giratina uh gender also important, it determines PID. Uh, you can leave it uh, female most of the time. I mean, most of the time you get a female Dream World Pokemon, Dream uh, Dream World ability or hidden ability, I should say, Pokemon from Dream Radar. Not very anything about that, like uh, Dream World and all that stuff. Uh, you also want to be sure to put in the right ratio. In this case, Riolu, I believe, is uh, half male. Half, it can be half male or half female. Either way. Um, Nature. Since I said adamant, I'm only going to highlight that as adamant, so I'm going to put none, put adamant. And IV frames, you know, you can put customize whatever you want, but always the, the drop down menu hat summarizes all the ones you'd want. So I go physical flawless, and I hit search. And I realized something before I, before I started, well after I started, uh, slot. Now, uh, you can accumulate a bunch of Pokemon in Dream Radar, but you can only send six. So from left to right in Pokemon Dream Radar, slots go 1 to 6, um, what are they called? Items you get, don't count those slots. Uh, so, in my case, I've had, in this run, I had, uh, Riolu, no, Swablu, Riolu, Swablu, Riolu. So I wanted to use the 4th Riolu, so I put it at slot 4. Uh, number of genderless in, uh, preceding slots, that, you know, if you have a genderless right there in that spot, you want to make sure to highlight, point out which ones are genderless. Okay, so uh, I did search. I stopped it short. I decided to go with uh, this one, the 10 F5, because I had experience hitting 10 F5 timer zeros. Uh, I will point out right now also, um, timer zeros are a bitch in black two and white two. So 
you want to practice. Well, it's not really that you can't practice, but more like uh, get accustomed to hitting one more often than another. Okay, so double click on the seed you want. Uh, pretty much self-explanatory right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't highlight that it's white too, but my configuration is set for uh, white two English. Make sure you you know make sure your parameters are right. If you have done memory links, make sure to do that. Uh, all this info, as you can see, uh, target frame is 18. Adamant has those flawless IVs right there. So you switch over to the adjacent. Seconds, you can leave that at 1. Timer 0, leave it at 3. Most likely you hit those. Or you might hit another range, but, you know, expand if you, as needed. Generate. Okay, so, big part. Uh, if you already understand how to, if you could calibrate it using Unima Link, you know about the spinner. Uh, that's how you determine if you hit your seed. So what I will be doing next is switching over to my uh, DS Lite, and I'll show you exactly what you, how you make sense of these uh, tabs right here. Okay, so I will use three uh, DS Lite to do this since I prefer DS Lite. But as I mentioned, you can use 3DS or DSi. XL or even 3ds XL blah whichever one you want. Okay, so date was 10 12 time was 0 38 Seconds is 14 health buttons is uh, Left a and B huh maximum babes on the screen Not very professional Jedi 10 11 12 Waiting to come back in a second later uh, if you do have an external timer or stopwatch to keep track of your uh, sync it to your uh, DS light clock. Definitely do that because, well, so many timer zeros, you can kind of keep track of where exactly you're supposed to start the game. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you go Unova Link, key system, send and receive keys. Hey, you're going to want to pay attention to this little corner right here because that's where the spinner shows up. Down right. Okay, I can see where this is going. So you see keys. Right. And up. So in my case, I hit 10 F4. And that's not what I want. I want 10 F5. So simple retry. You know, if you if your first result doesn't match what your timer zero is, you can always uh, just restart and try again. It can be, you know, kind of annoying to redo all this stuff over and over. Thank you, timer zeros, for being such a little bitch. But say lobby. 11, 12. So retry number, I don't know how many retries, but it usually isn't this hard. And I don't want to hear no pansy ass responses saying, no, this is so hard because there's fourth gen and there's third gen. Alright, you just said it. Hey, it looks like I got it now. Uh -huh. And, yes, I hit it. Hey, so I'll turn your attention real quick. Those three results. Hmm. Can this focus real quick, camera? There we go. You saw a spinner pointed north, wait, yeah, northwest, north, no, southeast and north. As you can see, 10 F5, that was my target, where is it? 10 F5, okay, so, you're wondering what that, why you wanted to do your frame searches at four? This is the reason. Those three spins, as you can see, if you hadn't done any spins, you would have automatically gotten the Pokemon at 
frame one. So, after one spin, now I'm on frame two. Two spins, I'm on frame three. And then a fourth spin, now I'm on frame four. So basically I counted one, two, and three with those first three. So, I want to advance to frame, where is it? Frame 18, so I do those spin sequences 17 times. So I've already done three of them. So I just need to do uh, 14 more. So I'll turn back over here. Doesn't matter, you don't need to keep track, but you can keep, it's actually, you can keep track of where you're going with it. Send receive key again. And it matched the results. That was, that matched the result for what would have been frame four. So now I'm on frame five. Frame six. Frame seven. Frame eight. Frame nine. Frame 10, frame 11, frame 12, frame 13, frame 14, frame 15, frame 16, frame 17, frame 18. Okay, so you do you do your advances with this. Very important, do not exit out of uh, Unova Link. You go now to Nintendo 3DS Link. Receive research data from Pokemon Dream Reader. Remember, you already should have uh, you should have sent those your stuff from Dream Radar. You should have sent your stuff from Dream Radar before even attempting an RNG abuse because obviously you're not gonna get anything. So I hit yes. Connecting to Dream Radar, doesn't matter what console it is, it is on. As you see, uh, Riolu, the one I was targeting, was on uh, slot 4. Research data was written in the save game file. That's very important, because what that means is, once this, once you do Nintendo 3DS Link and you confirm yes, so I want to do it, you cannot go back and redo anything. You're screwed. So, very important, if you're going for those Therian forms, or those 4th gen beasts, you know, 4th gen legendaries, which are Dialga, Palkia, and uh, Giratina, practice on Pokemon you can get repeated, like uh, Swablu and Riolu, and as you can do. Have. Transfer the received Pokemon to the PC box. Okay, send to P Okay, so, let's go into the game, see if... Any of those are adamant. It should be the fourth one. Uh, hey, look at that. That's awesome, isn't it? Yes, that is RNG abuse, by the way. Uh, okay, so I believe... Yeah, this was the first Swablu. Uh, Sirius doesn't care. There's that Riolu, Hardy. That's not the one I was going for. This is Lonely. Check that out. Adamant. Prankster. And off and dozes off. Oh wow, this is a level 30 Riolu. Huh. Interesting. I didn't I didn't know he grew levels or whatnot. The level 30, uh-huh. Those look like Really, really good, the, the right IVs for an adamant one, after all. But I know you guys are kind of skeptical, so why don't we do this? Why don't we upload this baby to Pokecheck? So we can confirm that we got the right IVs. So let me just say, quickly save here, and I don't use my DS Lite for uh, internet stuff. Oh, you know, Wi Fi connection. Well, except for Y2 in Japanese. So, okay, so back in the game. Save the Poke Center. I'm gonna continue adventure from here on now. Da, da, da. Global trade, you know, you should already have your uh, whatever console you use, you know, whatever handheld portable you're using. And you go onto GTS, set to uh, Poke Check's uh, DNS settings. You know, unless you have an AR, you can always check, use your action replay to check your uh, IVs if you have that cheat. I don't have any cheat for black and white 2 yet, so, the only way, but you know, you guys are, 
I'm assuming you guys are skeptical about the um, IVs. Either way. But I did get the right one. So why don't we go ahead and check. Deposit. That's a beautiful party. Okay, deposit. Riolu, you know, just offer whatever. Because it won't take it. Oh yeah, and I'm happy it was female. Not always going to be the case, but you know. As long as it isn't genderless, you should be... Uh, PID should match at least one or one or two maybe off, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I uploaded it to uh, PokeCheck. And now we'll turn back to my uh, TV slash monitor uh, focus. And you see that. Adamant Prankster level 30, just like it is. I'm a scientist in that game, just like it is. And look at that. Turning it over. 31, 31, 31, 29, 31, 31. It looks right. PAD. So why don't we turn over here real quick. Would you look at that. Nope. Wrong one. PID, 2ED. Ooh. Likes to thrash about. Huh, it's a bit off. Hmm. Wonder why. Maybe we might have a little chat with Chizu about that. I might be wrong. Hmm. Either way, it is adamant. It is the IVs I wanted. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you do uh, Green Radar RNG abuse using PVRNG. So obviously, uh, any questions you have, you know, post in the video. I'll try to explain. I'll also link Chizu's guide because, well, he made this program. Thank you very much again. Very awesome. And I'm happy to have another Riolu. So yeah, peace folks.